think it's important to understand who our fans are. We have a lot of Hispanic fans that attend our game, and we should make an effort to reach out to them. Sin embargo, Kovalchuk se rehace muy bien. Viene a dividir el trazado del disparo por parte de Kovalchuk. We want to bring this experience to the Hispanic audience and bring a little bit of our own flavor, the, the Latino flavor. It's going to be fun and just show that we were meant to be the guys calling Kings games. I never thought I would be involved in hockey, to be honest with you. You never know when you're going to get an opportunity, let alone in Spanish. So when, when this happened, I'm like, I have to be a part of it. I was born in Mexico City. I came to the United States when I was 17. I always came here on vacation because I had a lot of family in California. So I wanted to either play soccer or be a baseball broadcaster. Grew up a Dodger fan, was my team. The reason why I came to Los Angeles, I used to go to games and watch them on TV. I knew that I was eventually going to come here and stay. I used to play ice hockey with my dad, and I don't know if you recall that game. It had three different characters, the stocky one, fat one, the, the skinny one, and the medium-sized one. I ended up learning the course of hockey, and so I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. I would get together with my friends when video games first came up, and I would set up my lineups just the way my dad would, and I would call the game with two of my very good friends. And they told me, you've got something. I think you might uh, end up doing what your dad does. I was born in Bogota, Colombia. I moved to the United States when I was about 17 years old. My father, he is a sportscaster. He does play-by-play, -play, color analyst as well. He was very well known in Colombia. I had the fortune to grow up watching my dad prep for every single one of his games. That's if he had never done it. Amigos, bienvenidos a la cobertura de la NFL por DirecTV Sports. I can say I've done soccer, basketball, football, and I even had the opportunity to do a hockey game. The U.S. was about to move on to the next round in the Olympics. I feel that the, the game needs to continue to develop, and I think that particularly in L.A., it makes a whole lot of sense to reach out to the Hispanic audience. So excited right now to welcome these guys to the Kings family. 10 games in Spanish for the first time for the Kings in 20 years. I mean, I'm super excited. This is a great opportunity. We couldn't be happier. We can't wait to get started. To listen to a game in your first language is always different. It's like me listening to a game when it's broadcast in French. We need to go out and reach out to people and bring this wow factor of this very unique experience, very unique game, because there's really nothing else like it in the world. I want to make it exciting. I'm going to describe exactly what's going on on the ice. We need to keep the game very unique, very honest. Bringing that emotion in their own language is going to be a lot of fun for the Kings fans. The very first thing you notice with hockey is the speed. I find it amazing the physical ability of these guys just flying by. When Francisco will make those goal calls, the idea is that our audience is going to jump up out of their seats wherever they're listening to. Bueno, Tyler Toffoli hablando despacio, un disparo por parte de Kovalchuk, ¡Oh, que la deriva, ¡Gol! 